today I'm going to show you how to create this smoked out eye with no eyeliner. Um, new background, new camera as well. I've moved house so everything's new, the lighting might be a little bit off. Um, I've not done a video in absolute age, we've been doing this house up for um, a number of months now so I've just been so so busy. So yeah this is my first one back so go easy on me. It's aimed probably a little bit more at mature skin although it can be done on any age at all but I am believe it or not, I know it's really hard to believe, <coughs> um, classed as having mature skin now and mature skin supposedly from 35 onwards. I think so, I think a bit more 40 plus, so yes I'm 40 plus, so yeah it is a mature skin video now, I know people comment on my other videos when I say it's for mature skin saying oh what, how is that for mature skin, because I am mature, oh, no I'm not mature, that's an absolute lie, I'm so much the opposite of mature, <laughs> but no my skin is mature, so that's what I choose to do. You might not want to wear this much makeup, but that that's a choice thing. So obviously, um, just watch it and see what you think. Comment down below. Maybe next time I'll do one where it's slightly less makeup, if that's what you want. I have chosen products that I think would be good on mature skin. So fingers crossed you like it. Anyway. So starting with the brows, I'm combing them through and I'm just going to put powder on these today because I don't want anything too heavy so I'm just using the Anastasia powders and a slanted brush. So next I'm just going to prime my eyes and use a brush to blend that through. This is Bling and I'm popping that under the brow bone. Next I'm using Soft Peach and a fluffy brush and I'm going to take this one all over my eyes just to start creating the transition colours. This is Orange Soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills, they are all Anastasia shadows and I'm keeping this one a bit more in the crease using a fluffy brush again and I'm just keeping that one lower than the last colour. So next I'm taking caramel and a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to keep working into my crease, rounding circles and using the last brush to blend that out into the other colour. So I'm just literally building that colour up and putting more and more layers on. So I'm going to take that colour underneath as well. The next colour is Fudge and I'm going to concentrate this one more in the outer corners, just keep working them round in the outer corners. I tend to use circular motions but sometimes I go into a window wiper motion at this point because you can be a bit more harsh on that line. At this point you might want to cut your crease but I'm just popping this on with my finger I don't want it quite um, as neat as that so the key to this look is using this black as an eyeliner to create some drama so let me just show you probably what you would normally do I'll show you on this eye is Take your eyeliner close to your waterline, sorry, close to your lash line and along. So you can start like that, but what you need to concentrate on is this outer edge here. So you want to create some lift, create some lift, create some lift, create some lift. You want to create some lift with your eyes uh, on your eyes and I can't even get my words straight. So you need to create some lift on your eyes. So we wanna try and lift this bit here. So instead of just running along the lash line or even just creating a small bit of lift on the end, what you need to do is go angular here, quite dramatic. So 
be going at this angle here instead of your normal. You want to go there. You don't have to be too neat if you're going to smudge it round. So what I'm going to do is pause this now and come back and smudge it. So what I tend to do is just start to take it into the crease. Just smudge along. So when you've done that, you might want to go back in and add a bit more of the black. It's entirely up to you how uh, dramatic you want this to be or how smudgy you want this to be. Um, or you might just want to repeat those steps. You might want to add a little bit of your brown colour. Smudge a bit more. And again, it's up to you if you want to go in on the um, lighter lid colour and just intensify that, then do that. I'm going to add a moisturiser now instead of a primer and then I'm using Giorgio Armani's foundation. I'm taking Doll 10 Hydra Balm Concealer, it's a precision concealer so it's really good for around the eyes and it's a great brand for more mature skin and then I'm just using a brush to blend that through. This is one of my favourite blushes, it's Balm Springs from The Balm. It feels amazing, it's got like a little net over the top, but it's ever so squishy. Caviar baby, oh, my hair, I'm going to this. Gonna finish off with a Huda Beauty lip kit. And that's it, that's the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Anyway, right, this is the key to this look. Um, uh.